Hello, everyone. I hope you've had a fantastic week. Now, something ha something happened this week. I found myself at Afriforum offices in Centurion, where I met um, um, Aaron's uh, fan sale. Um, and we, he and I had a great meeting. Uh, we spoke about various issues that, that affect the country, um, the interests uh, that we both have um, in the affairs of the country. We spoke about the plans for this year, uh, what he plans to do to make a difference in South Africa, and also what I, I plan to do as well. Big things are coming up, um, big content, a lot of content will be created this year. And um, our goal is to, as always, stimulate the conversation, be part of the conversation as we head to to the election this year and and beyond. It does. It's not, it's not only. It's, it's not about this election. You know, uh, we have to think about what comes after. It can't be just about this election. And those were the issues and uh, various topics um, that we that um, uh, Aaron's and I were um, were, were talking about. Uh, but then I posted, I did post a picture of me um, and Aaron's um, on, 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 on X. Um, but then there was a lot of negativity um, toward that picture. I was very much disappointed, the negative things that were posted by people. And, you know, it's got more than 200, uh, there are now more than 200 views. Um, it was liked, it's almost 900 times. But most of the, the stuff that were comments were very negative. I mean, people were calling me all kinds of names, as usual, by the way. These are people who always attack me for my views on South Africa's social economic affairs. Uh, they don't like what I say for, for reasons they know, because I stand by my values. You know, <laughs> you either like what I'm saying or you don't. I'm a person of values. I believe in a democracy that is vibrant, where people can express their opinions freely. Um, so th these people, there was a lot of negative stuff written here that I'm a sellout, um, that I am in BNB, you know, um, that um, if this was the apartheid era, uh, I would have been on the side, you know, on the side of the apartheid system. That is totally crazy. People are just really out of their minds out there. Now, let me tell you um, why I met uh, Afri Forum, because it, it's very important to explain this, because I'm a person of values, and everything I do when it comes to, uh, you know, engaging organizations and uh, the work that I do, I am driven by, by my values. Now, um, Afri Forum is a South African organization um, that does things for its members, whether you agree or disagree with, with those things, they are doing things within the bounds of our constitution, within the bounds of the legal frameworks, within the bounds of the law, right? So for you to come and tell us that we cannot meet them and those who meet them, who meet Afri Forum, they are sellouts, um, they are coons, uh, they are house sneakers. You go on with this, uh, you know, th 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 these terms that you use to insult people with whom you, 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 do not, you, you do not agree with. I was at, at another conference in Sun City last year, and I said to them, listen, if we want to build our communities, if we want people to come together and do something to build and develop their communities, then the Afri Forum um, should be the model that is replicated across communities in the country, where people come together, right? Um, and say, let's start something. Let's build a college, right? Let's start an organization, an organization that will push for the development of our, uh, of, of, of our community. If we can have, we can have that kind of, you know, collaboration and, and cooperation amongst uh, people in, in our communities, we would benefit. So this thing of saying that Afri Forum is evil, people like us shouldn't um, meet them. Look, I'm a public policy analyst. Um, I am involved in NGO. I've been doing that for years in NGOs that make a difference and a difference that a difference that I agree with in terms of values and principles, right? So for you to come and you tell us now we shouldn't meet them, why shouldn't you meet them? Are they animals? Are they not South Africans? Shouldn't we collaborate with them for the betterment of the country? Of course we should. Why not? The things that um, Aaron and I were speaking about were the fundamental things that affect every South African, right? Regardless of their color, regardless of their religion, right? These are the things, the fundamental things that affect us as a, as a, as a, as a society. Uh, and we were 
talking us to uh, discussing us to what is it what, what are the fundamental problems that how do we how could we address them as i've always said we need to be a society in south africa that encourages uh, weddings and marriages um we have to be because that um is what you need to build a society where there are stronger families the the nuclear the, the nuclear family is broken in south africa there are no families especially amongst black people that's the reality that we are we are facing that the family is totally broken amongst us um black people in our black community in our black communities so we need to build these things we need to talk about them what is the social economic impact of these things what what are the what are the state what are the state of politics you know one of the points that were raised by um Arens was that look there's no politician in south africa a politician out there a prominent politician going out and saying going out and saying listen guys the fundamental problem right at the core of our problems um is the state the dark state the dark state of our families that our families are broken there's no there's no politician in south africa who goes who goes who goes out there and be them the fighter for the family and that's that that to me and arens is to step in right and to many south africans who care about a um a good social order because if we have strong strong families stronger families then we are going to have a um good um social order the social order that you need that is that is fundamental to the to the social economic development of uh, of a um a, a society so you, you know my book lessons from past heroes that i have written um and was published um last um november it says what i've been saying just right now what i have what i have been saying to you and the argument i make in this book is that look if we if we want to to fix south africa and be one of the globally competitive um uh, countries in the world your color doesn't matter your race doesn't matter we have to we have to come together to fix our problems right it's understood our history is understood where we come from right but we cannot fix it by divisions and saying that well those ones they can they, they shouldn't get that because they are xyz you know uh, these ones they can get that because you know they are ct we, we don't want to do that we, we want to have a a society that collaborates a society that comes together people, people must come together to fix their country and this book here that i've written argues for that um in one of them in one of the sections that in fact it says that our 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 diversity should be our our tool to move south africa forward right it says that our diversity is our strength right because we are not just only different as racial groups and cultures we are also different by what by what we do on a daily basis right by our culture right by our way of living um some other people they can do better things and then others so the question is how do you learn from one another right learn from one another you know if one group does something is better at something you learn and you transfer that knowledge and then we all become better going forward so that is the mindset that we should drive going forward if we want to build a south africa that has reduced unemployment rate it's got a stronger performing economy um stronger uh, uh, families um it's got um it's got a strong law and order i'm a strong believer in law and order because there is no prosperity there's no rapid economic development economic development you can build if you don't have strong law and order everybody do does everything whenever they want to do uh, things that are outside of them of them you know out, outside of the law things that um basically intrude or um intervene in other people's private pop, uh, properties we don't want to do that we want to have a, a society that's got stronger law and order and now let me tell you something we can never achieve those things if we don't come together as a as, as south africans regardless of your color or race come together and try to solve address the problems that we that we face as a society so organizations like afri forum there's a great deal a great deal to learn from them right what can we learn from them that they are doing 
to improve our our communities and what is what is it that they that they, that, that they can learn from us as well you've got to be as a nation you, we have to be competitive because when you look at how business operates, international corporations, they look at which countries are competitive, are competitive, then they will go in and, and invest in those countries. You have to be competitive in many, many ways. You've got to be a country that says, look, come to us if you are an investor, right? Don't go there. Don't go to East Asia. Don't go to Latin, Amer Latin America. Come to us. We can provide you something, something that is um, that is better, and that will not only benefit um, um, the investors; it will benefit your people, right? Because well, that's what you want. You want to build, you want to build a society where your people they benefit, um, they develop, and they do amazing things. Don't be negative when you see a black person and, and, and a white person sitting together to address the problems or to talk about the problems of the country and trying to come up with solutions. Because that is what is going to help us, right? This country, this country was founded through um, different, um, you know, groups of people um, who came together to start this country, to start a to start a democratic South Africa. This book. Um, recognizes the people who came together and, and it praises them for their courage, for their love of, uh, of South Africa, uh, for, their, for their ability to compromise, right? To understand that to build a country, you have to come together. To build a democratic South Africa, you have to come together. 